I have a stain on my top. Yo, what's wrong? Toothpaste. <laughs> Hi everybody welcome to my channel my name is Tapa. over here we talk about skincare and grooming so if that sounds like the type of stuff you like to see please subscribe also come and follow me here on my socials where we talk more about skincare and get real real personal okay so i just want to address two things one this is my first video so if i'm speaking really fast i'm just nervous and i will get better two i'm doing national lockdown with my family one of those members is under two years old it's hectic here so you might hear some noises okay let's get into the video so this video is going to be about a yesta haul that i did in february i bought some products from yesta asked you guys if you wanted to know about my experience using yesta and many of you said yes that is why we're here so if you're just here for the products i will put a timestamp on the screen on when i'll be showing them which will be at the end of this video so for those of you that don't know yes style is an online store that sells japanese and korean brands where there's things like skincare makeup clothing and stationery and they're based in hong kong they do offer other non um, Asian brands such as Neutrogena and Avino, and they're mostly known here on YouTube for their clothing hauls and such So there were two reasons why I decided to buy from yes style The first one was when I was on the website I was lurking and I found out that if you bought products that were under a thousand dollars You wouldn't be charged any custom fees and if you were charged custom fees Then you'd be required to pay for them send them that proof of payment within 30 days and they will refund you that amount Into your yes style account second reason their products have reviews and the reviews are not just good reviews they have a range from bad, good, and neutral reviews, which is something I appreciate, which also shows me that they don't remove their bad reviews. So I did get charged custom fees. I got charged, hold on. I got charged 172 Rand and 90 cents. So I forgot to claim this amount from YesStyle. I had every reason to, I just totally forgot. At the time in February, things were actually happening. I had a new job. I was in final year. So things got really hectic and I totally, totally forgot until lockdown happened and I wanted to claim and I realized I'd missed the 30 days. So yeah, if you buy from YesStyle, please don't forget to claim the custom fees penalty and send it back to them. So YesStyle has two shippings and it's standard shipping and express shipping. So with standard shipping, it costs $4.99. It took um, 7 to 30 working days to get your package and they didn't issue you a tracking code and in order to qualify for free um, standard shipping you have to buy over $35 and then there's um, express shipping express shipping costs $25 it takes three to five working days to get your package and they do issue you a tracking code and in order to qualify for free express shipping you have to buy an amount over $150 which is what I did so I just want to put a disclaimer out there while doing the research for this video and looking over my notes and making sure everything's correct I went on YesStyle's website and saw that they had changed their shipping now because of COVID-19. So I'm just going to read that out to you guys. Sorry guys, my internet is slow. It's a f***ing full house here. So the internet is just so slow. Okay, finally, I have the information. Thank you, internet. So, express shipping is now $13.99 instead of the original $25.00. And it now takes five to seven business working days to get your parcels with a tracking code. And then there's premium standard now, which costs $4.99, so it hasn't changed, but it's now moved from 10 to 30 um, business working days, and they now do issue out a tracking code. So a little bit of adjustments have been made, not too much. So I spent $150,64, which translated at the time to 2,359.46. I got 15 items and two free samples. And I did this to qualify for express shipping. I did this so I can get my package really fast. So I placed an order for this package on the 1st of February and it arrived here on the 11th of February, which is seven working business days, which is not too bad. It's just two days over the three to five working business days. And also at the time, Hong Kong was dealing with a coronavirus outbreak. Don't know if it was bad, but I do know some flights had been suspended in and out of Hong Kong. So that could have been some of the delays. So I didn't realize that my products were here until the 13th of February because yes style does not deliver to your door. They only deliver to your post office. Whether you pay for express shipping or standard shipping, it all goes to your post office. But now with everything that has changed, I think I should double check that for you guys just to see. Okay, nothing has changed. They still ship via the post office, so. 
yeah. So after six days of purchasing from YesStyle, they then made me a bronze member of the YesStyle Elite Club, which essentially is an earn as you buy point system with um, YesStyle, and it has three hierarchies. There is bronze, silver, and gold. So I'm just gonna read to you which each hierarchy entails. So we have a bronze member that gets 3% of all purchases, gets a one $5 coupon, and a faster upgrade to silver membership when you buy during your birthday month. And then there is a silver membership. You get 6% of all purchases. You get one $10 coupon, one $5 coupon, and earn double Starbucks points when you buy it during your birthday month. And then there is a gold member. You get 10% of all purchases, four $10 coupons, and an extra 12% off when you buy during your birthday month. So now I'm just gonna mention the things that I liked and I didn't like about YesStyle. So let's start with the things that I liked. Number one, YesStyle has a huge selection of Korean and Japanese brands to choose from. If there's some American brands that you're trying to get a hold of, they have them too. They just have a huge selection of brands to choose from. So if you're really picky on which brand you wanna use because of the ethics, codes, vegan friendly, doesn't taste on animals, that type of stuff, YesStyle has a huge selection of brands to choose from. Point number two, YesStyle prices range from low end to high end. And I honestly really appreciate this as a student. There's just some products I'm not willing to spend so much money on, like my cleansers, my moisturizers. I don't have to spend that much money on them. I can get low end products and then get the high end serums. I love that they have a range to select from. And number three, the amount of product knowledge on their skincare products is amazing. It is abundant. It is a lot. The brands provide you with a lot of information on what their skincare products do so they will be like this is its main ingredient this is what its main ingredient does this is why it's so effective when to use the product how to use the product and then under all of that there'll probably be a q a session about the products and then under all of that it's everybody's testimonials who have used the products pictures and reviews and stars and how they rate it so if you're new to the skincare world and you need a guide on which products to choose they have a really helpful guide on there okay so some of the things i didn't like about jstar so number one some of their product explanations would be entirely in korean or japanese which then gives you more work so say you want the isn't tree toner or whatever and now you go look on it on yes style and everything is in a language you don't understand it gives you more work because now you have to go on isn't tree's original website because they most likely will have the translations read it there and then make your conclusions on do you want this product or not it's just very tedious is what i'd say number two yes style will let you add products that are not in stock into your cart and then that now leaves you with two options and you're trying to check out. It's either one, they will wait for everything to be in stock and then ship it to you once they have it all in stock. Or two, let them ship to you what they have in stock and then what's not in stock will come in drips and drabs to you. I made sure that I just bought everything that was in stock. If I wanted something that wasn't going to be in stock in like 21 days, then I would just leave it and get an alternative because YesStyle has so many brands and products to choose from. You will find an alternative. It's not hard to find one. And number three, YesStyle only delivers to the post office. I don't like going to the post office to get my packages. I like them to come to my door. I'm a lazy as a bitch. I'm not gonna even lie about it. I just don't really like going to the post office. When I did get to go get my package, it wasn't that bad. I was in within like five minutes and then I was out. So genuinely speaking, I just don't like going to the post office. But this wasn't a bad experience with using the post office, so I guess it'll be okay. Okay, let us now get into the products, the things that you are all here for. This is the Etsy Dior House My Lash Serum, which I've already started using. The Dear Claire's Gentle Black Deep Cleansing Oil. The Time Revolution Special Miniature Kit. The Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Toner Plus. A Gave Cooling Hydrogel Eye Mask. Apu Milk One Pack. Aqua Hyaluronic Acid Water Drop Cream, Roto Mentulitam Water Lip Balm SPF 20 PA++, the Hyaluronic Hyaluronic Acid Lotion, a Silicone Facial Mask Brush, the Vanilla Co Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm, and the Flavor Original, the Bior UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence SPF 50++ PA++++, the CosRx Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser. The I'm From Rice Toner. And the CosRx Acne Pimple Master Patch. And then I received two free samples, which is the Vegetable Bunny Face Mask and a Hydration Cream Water Tube. So overall, would I buy from YesStyle again? Yes, I would. Honestly, truly, I would. I didn't have a bad experience with them. 
even getting my package from the post office was a pretty quick thing I was in within five minutes totally totally would buy from them again I would however wait until the national lockdown has passed just safe just buying from any other international online store it's just safe to wait until you can actually go to the post office and get your stuff not have that shit in limbo and not know what the hell is happening so yeah please don't forget to like there's something on my face there's something this is by the way god okay i killed it <laughs> Well, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button. 